evil just is never satisfied, never. Last week, Reverend Patricia Lohman and other members of the St. John's Baptist Church walked into a grim sight. 14 tombstones in the small cemetery outside the church had been destroyed. Well, I can't understand why someone would do this to harm us when we're doing so much good. We're not bothering anyone. We, we, we do things to help the community. It was, uh, was kind of hard to, to look at. It was too many graves that was break, broken back there. Brothers Charles and Carlton Hopkins were among the members to see the damages. Like, why would somebody go out of their way just to vandalize our graveyard, you know? I, I don't have the slightest clue. I don't know why somebody would do this. An incident report filed with the Lexington County Sheriff's Department claims the destruction left almost $7,500 of damages. Deacon Dolores Weston was the first to see the vandalized cemetery. We do everything that we can to hold up our church. This is one of the oldest churches in the state. And I was speechless for a while. I had to look again. But this isn't the first time the 279-year-old church has been threatened. The cemetery was vandalized in the 1980s and again in 1995 when the church was burned to the ground. And we said, this here it starts all over again, you know. We thought that this was an ending. I feel deceived and I feel um, brokenhearted by someone would just pick our church out to pick on us. But Loman plans to meet with family members and organize a way to earn money to rebuild the tombstones of their loved ones. We mean well and we are thankful for the prayers of those who are praying for our well-being. The Reverend says she is hopeful in rebuilding not only the structures, but the church community as a whole. In Casey, Shelley Damchek, Watch Fox News.